Hello everyone, welcome back. This is our part two of our examination of Star Trek Doppelgangers. Last time we got through the original series in TNG. This time I thought I might get through DS9 and Voyager. However, by the time I got finished with Deep Space Nine, I already had enough examples for another video. So let's go ahead and get started. Last time we left off with a doppelganger count of 40. So we'll start off with two more in Season 1, Episode 4, A Man Alone. We're a criminal known as Ibudan, and in order to get revenge against Odo, cloned himself, killed his own clone, and then framed Odo for the murder. Season 1, Episode 16, A Race of Aliens, examining the idea of imagination, created several interesting characters for the crew to interact with. One of them was an impersonation of Jadzia Dax, who, let's say, was far more interested in the good doctor than the original Jadzia. Season 1, episode 19, Duet, one of the best episodes of the whole series, in my opinion. Cardassian filing clerk, Eamon Maritza, guilty about the horrors he witnessed during the Bajoran occupation, had himself surgically altered to appear as the evil Goldar Heel, the leader of the Galatev labor camp, in an attempt to make Cardassia face its guilt over its crimes. Season 2, Episode 9, Second Sight. Unhappy uh, wife Nadell, while she was sleeping, used her psycho-projective telepathy to project an image of herself known as Fena that became romantically involved with Commander Sisko. Season 2, Episode 14, Whispers. On a mission to the Gamma Quadrant, Chief O'Brien was captured and replaced by a replicant who believed himself to be the chief, however was programmed to commit an assassination. Season 2, Episode 23, Crossover. The first of several visits by DS9 to the Mirror Universe, first seen in the original series. As I mentioned in my previous video, I will count doppelgangers in the Mirror Universe episodes as individuals who crossed from one universe to another, assuming they existed in both places. In this case, that would count Kira Norris and Julian Bashir. Season 3, Episode 5, Second Skin. Major Kira is kidnapped by the Obsidian Order and surgically altered to appear as Ileana Gamor. On an Obsidian Order agent who underwent surgical alteration herself to infiltrate the Bajoran Resistance. Season 3, Episode 9, Defiant, we see the return of Thomas Riker, the transporter duplicate of William T. Riker we first met on The Next Generation. He impersonates his duplicate in order to steal the USS Defiant for use by the Maquis. Season 3, Episode 14, Heart of Stone. The female changeling impersonates Major Kira in an attempt to learn why Odo would choose to place his loyalty with the Solids instead of his own people. Season 3, Episode 19, Through the Looking Glass, back in the Mirror Universe, Miles O'Brien, also known as Smiley, comes to recruit Commander, or, yes, Commander Sisko, not a captain yet, to assist him in trying to get his mirror wife, Jennifer Sisko, to join the Resistance. Season 3, Episode 26, The Adversary. A changeling impersonates Federation Ambassador Krajinsky and sends the Defiant on a false mission. In the process, also impersonates Dr. Bashir and Odo. Season 4, Episode 11, Homefront. The changelings have reached Earth, and in the process of causing mischief, they impersonate Admiral Layton before Odo discovers their deception. And in the follow-up episode, Paradise Lost, either the same changeling or another one on Earth impersonates Miles O'Brien to have a little chat with now Captain Sisko. Season 4, Episode 20, Shattered Mirror. The Jennifer Sisko from the Mirror Universe comes over to visit Benjamin in the Prime Universe, but absconds with Jake as part of a plan to coerce 
Captain Sisko to help the Terrans build their own version of the Defiant. I also found a very insightful caption from Memory Alpha while I was doing my research. Season 5, Episode 1, Apocalypse Rising. Odo was led to believe that the Changelings had replaced Galron, the leader of the Klingon Empire. However, it was turned out it was actually his lead general, Martok, who had been replaced. However, this deception was discovered by Odo. Season 5, Episodes 14 and 15, In Purgatory's Shadow and by Inferno's Light. In this episode, it was revealed that Dr. Bashir himself had been replaced by a changeling for at least a month without being detected, while he plotted nefarious plans. Season 5, Episode 19, Ties of Blood and Water. Gul Dukat shows up at DS DS9 with his uh, Vorta counterpart, Weyun, who we learn is actually the fifth clone of Weyun. The character had first appeared in an episode of Season 4, however I'm considering this appearance as his first doppelganger, because this is when we learned that all the Weyun, all the, well, all the Vortas, are clones of each other. Season 6, Episode 8, Resurrection. The Burial, who is now deceased in the Prime Universe, visits from the Mirror Universe with the evil version of Major Kira, who is also known as the Intended. Season 7, Episode 6, Treachery, Faith in the Great River. After the death of Weyun 5 in an unfortunate transporter accident, Weyun 6 is activated, but he decides to defect to the Federation, at which point Weyun 7 has the responsibility to stop him. Season 7, Episode 12, The Emperor's New Cloak. The last visit by DS9 to the Mirror Universe. Esri from the Mirror Universe, who is named Tegan because in that location she is not a joint trill, comes over to the Prime Universe and returns with Quark and Rom as they plan to rescue Grand Naked Sek and his loyal servant, Mayhardu. Season 7, Episode 19, Strange Bedfellows. After Weyun 7 gets a little bit too close to Worf during an interrogation, he is replaced by Weyun 8 which pleases Damar to no end. This brings us to the end of Deep Space Nine Doppelgangers. Coming up soon, we'll move on to Voyager and perhaps further. A little side note I did not mention earlier. In the episode Shattered Mirror, Jake also visits the Mirror Universe. However, I did not count him as a doppelganger because the Benjamin and Jennifer of that universe never had children. In any case, was there anybody else I should have included or not included? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a blessed day.